Heather Hope has details. Inside the most advanced multi-role fighter aircraft, and we're getting a new look at how it all works. It was truly designed and bred to be the apex aviation platform ever designed and ever to operate. Taking to the skies, Marine Corps Air Station Miramar welcomes the F-35 fighter jet. And this represents another generational leap, not only in our national defense capabilities, but also in the types of airplanes that we fly around Miramar. It's the most advanced strike fighter for the Marine Corps and Navy. Elected officials got a chance to see how it will be used from the simulator cockpit. Even though it's a simulator, it's still a little nerve wracking and I had my coach next to me. We'll watch our roll just a little bit, keep pulling. Getting to check out the twists and turns, Representative Scott Peters says $300 million went into this effort. Well, this is about defending the country, and so we, we know that our adversaries are advancing technologically. Oh, so are we. Each jet will represent an investment by the American taxpayer. But with the new jet, concerns rose over more noise. Overall noise from the base will actually decrease. In a new ACUS, or Air Installation Compatible Use Zones study, it analyzed the impact base operations will have on the community. MCA's Miramar says the F-35 will sound a tad louder on takeoff than an F-18, but at least 10 decibels quieter for its landing. While it's going to sound different and people are going to see it in the air and notice the difference because it has a higher pitch than the two-engine aircraft that we've been flying for well over 30 years here, um, there's almost no discernible noise difference. The aircraft is expected to be a game changer in technology. Sensor fusion, stealth, low observability, and multi-platform integration. You'll see that the wings are conspicuously larger. She carries approximately one-third more fuel. You see this fleet of F-18s all lined up. Well, in the next 10 years, we're told that the military will phase this out and will begin to start to put out more F-35Cs. At least 12 will be lined up here. Military will train with them in order for them to be deployed sometime late next year. Barbara Lee and Carlo. All right, Heather, thanks.